This 10-year-old home has a giant backyard that the owners have tried to make their own. I'm turning it into a classic cottage escape with space for lounging, eating, and enjoying the monster hot tub. Oh, <laughs> I have made fire. Okay, we got a, a very large sized yard, but with all the houses staring into this and the western exposure, uh, shade and privacy will have to be addressed. A uh, few existing elements that are here that I like. We got this pond and we got the interlock, which is really, really nice. And then we have the deck and these very strange looking creatures here that I don't like so much. So I'd like to see all this go, but I'd like to keep this. The key is going to be creating a design that makes the existing interlock and pond flow into the design so it looks like it was all done originally. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And I'd like to see the deck push to this side of the yard and uh, definitely find a home for that monstrous hot tub, because right now it looks a little odd. So uh, yeah, let's go see the thing. Paul and Renit are overwhelmed by their huge backyard. They want a cozy and stylish retreat that builds on the work they've already done to create their ultimate cottage getaway. We don't have a cottage. Uh, traveling to cottages is, is impractical for us. So we're looking to create that cottage lifestyle steps away from our house. Uh, I love the space back here. So we've got, you know, the pond, we've got the interlock, we've got the deck, and we have this large garden over here. We're OK with getting rid of everything other than the patio and the pond. Uh, we do like the, the soothing sound of the pond. OK. What we're looking for in a deck in our backyard is a, is a barbecue area, uh, an eating area, um, an area maybe where we have a, a, like a fire pit where we can just sort of gather around and, and keep cozy. A couple of things that we'd like to see different about our yard is uh, a bit more privacy, as well as having some protection from the sun. I will do that. I'll come up with a plan. I'll show you. Wonderful. And, uh, Perfect. Start, we'll start doing some building. Wonderful. Perfect. Starting from the upper patio doors, I'm going to build a state-of-the-art barbecue area with thick tempered glass countertops and a nearby space for casual eating and drinking. The relocated hot tub will have an intentional home equipped with an easily retractable awning and custom canvas screens around the perimeter for privacy. One step down is a cozy lounge nook under a traditional pergola to relax and take in the scenery. A gently curved wall will complement the rounded edges of a unique gas fire pit made of rustic oxidized steel. Rounding things out is a spacious dining area complete with a shade sail to keep out the blazing sun. And now, time to make some noise. All right, first day and it's wild already. We gotta get this deck torn out in a real big hurry because our digger's gonna be showing up anytime. And before he can start digging, we have to actually tell him where the holes are going to go. So we gotta mark them out and then we got a concrete truck showing up about two hours after that. So by the end of the day, we're gonna have concrete in the ground and we'll be ready to start for anything. We kicking this or what? Oh, uh, let's kick it. I win. <laughs> yeah, well, that one had ro a rose bush in it. I'm gonna be over here sulking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, so we're marking everything out. We're moving like crazy. We got paint and guys just flying all over the place. We got our digger going, so the holes are being dug, then the builder tubes are going in and being filled with concrete right afterwards. So it's it's anarchy and mayhem as it should be. So what's going on? Not a bad first day. It's an absolute war zone back here. We just got uh, more holes to dig. We got concrete still going in. We'll be here a little while longer. But even though it's ugly and dirty and filthy, uh, it's going to look gorgeous in the end. It's the birthing of something great. So even though it's gross, I'm excited. OK, it's framing day. and. Uh, we got the landscape fabric down, the stone is in place, so now we can get on to framing, which is great. Uh, so we got posts to go up in the air, we got framing to happen multiple levels, but before the end of the day, that hot tub has got to get moved over to there, which is, you know, usually everybody's favorite part, I think. Favorite jobs in the world, uh, hauling stone, hauling lumber, 
uh, doing concrete. Top and three. moving hot tubs. And moving hot tubs. And we get to do that one today, too. Yeah, I know. It's all three in one day. All of our favorite jobs in one day. <laughs> Do you pretend like you're at a carnival? I you beat chain? those things all the time. Do you win stuffed animals all the time? Yep. Do you have like a room where you store all those stuffed animals? It's a glass cabinet. <laughs> if you tell anybody, I'll kill you. <laughs> Learn something new about Pat every day. I uh, always prefer to put the hot tub on a frame because it means that it won't ever move. A limestone pad or a concrete pad can still move with frost, and whenever it sits on a solid frame, it's never going to go anywhere. So now this big beastie, which is going to be 6,000 pounds, is going to sit on this frame, which has been beefed up. So now we're 8 inches on center, and we've got these huge 24-inch footings that are sitting way down on the ground to take the weight of that tub. So uh, in a minute, we're going to move it, and that's going to be fun. One, two, three, go! OK. All right. Oh, I got caught on my belt. That was awesome. The hot tub caught in my belt. Okay. okay. Perfect. Well placed, hot tub. Well done. Done. Lower level. All right, not too bad of a day. We have uh, the hot tub in place. It's centered and looks beautiful. The next time you see this, we will have all the joists in, all the beams in, all the blocking, all the bolts. It'll all be done. We'll be on to decking and many other features of this fine project. It's this cool little machine. It cooks the board all the way through, heats it up. It's like cake, only made of plastic and sawdust. Kids, do not eat these boards when they come out of the oven. Helpful tips. X marked the spot as we dug some holes and poured our footings. The old deck went bye-bye. We found a new home for the hot tub and even got to some framing. Done. All right, we got a big day ahead of ourselves today. As you can see, we got lots of framing already done. The joists are in, they're hung. Unfortunately, we don't have Paul with us today. He's in the office working on designs, but we're gonna plug away without him and get this decking done. So, it's gonna be a great day. Today we're using a composite decking material. It's a combination of recycled plastic and wood. We have a, a lighter color and a darker accent color. We're using one for the main areas of our decking and the other as the border. It's just a nice way to spice up your deck and give it some character. So these are our pergola rafters. We have an Asian-inspired design on the end of them. All you got to do is cut one out, which is your template, stack it on top of all the rest, trace on top. That way, they'll all have the exact same profile at the end. Done! All right, we're firing on all cylinders. Uh, we got Jeff coming in today to talk about the landscaping, which is always fun when Jeff shows up. Uh, but we've got a lot of work done. We got the hot tub sunk now into its new home. Lots of nice trim work going in around there, so it looks pretty sweet. You can see the nice little changes of levels that is happening over here. I love the way it's kind of going from high down to low. Uh, we got this curved beam going up at the top, and this is what's going to support the shade sail. It's going to happen in this area. That's going to look really cool. As uh, so we got lots of boards to curve, so we got a lot on the agenda. What's going on, Paul? Hey, Jeff. How's it going? Good, yeah, buddy. Good. Nice. So we got uh, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff going on hey, here. Hey, what's going on? Uh, well, you can see they, they have existing landscaping, but now I'm yeah. kind of lacking in this area in particular. What do you think, man? Well, you can see that everything was directed towards that existing patio that's yeah. there. I think uh, adding another pond, kind of mirroring this one, but facing it back this way. That way, anyone sitting in the dining area or around the deck will actually be able to enjoy it. Right, right. And actually, we still have all these really nice granite boulders kicking around. I can actually drill a hole all the way through that, okay. hook our pump up to that, 
and create a fountain right out of the existing rocks here. So wait, wait is it going to be a waterfall or like a fountain? It's going to be both. We're going to have a waterfall coming down and then to accent that one big gurgling rock. I'm getting, I'm getting all excited, buddy. Nice. That sounds good. awesome. All right, I got some measuring today. All right, buddy. Came in. Take have it. Gonna have to be quick. So what we got here is our wonderful board bending oven. So it's this cool little machine. It cooks the board all the way through, heats it up, so that it's able to be bent into positions on the deck. And it smells fantastic, too. It's like cake, only made of plastic and sawdust. Kids, do not eat these boards when they come out of the oven. That's bad. Helpful tips. All right, now I'm just trying to cool down the board that we just took out of the oven. So we just got to bring the temperature down on this so that it's going to hold the curve. Very, very nice. Right, next one. Hi, boy. Uh, so shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Money. All right, lots of fidgety, time-consuming stuff today. We are bending boards. We're getting curved beams up in the air, but not a bad start. Uh, so we did cedar post cladding as well, but the real focus is getting everything done out here because we're going to move our way toward the barbecue area. And I tell you what we're going to do over there is going to blow your mind. Give it a nice, easy drag across, and you're protected from the element. I'm element, and I can't get in. <laughs> uh... Jeff dropped by and came up with a plan for some groovy landscaping. We got our composite decking down, and pergolas and posts went up as well. Things are taking shape. Nice. Speeding. Mark it. Action. All right, we got some fine production happening over here. We got the second beam up in the air, and the other one's been cladded, so it's really, really looking good. We got lights going in all over the place. Nice trim happening over here. All our posts have been clad in cedar, but the real focus for today is going to be this zone over here. We got 700 pounds of glass showing up for the bar and the barbecue area, and this is the zone that's got me really excited because when this is done, tears of joy, baby, I'm telling you. And uh, we got a lot of skirting done as well, so it's just moving along quite nicely. A wonderful glass has just shown up, and uh, Paul thought it was uh, 700. It's actually 950 pounds, so uh, this is going to be fun getting it back there. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's the worst that could happen. It's only 900 pounds. Oop. Holy crap. Nice. Step one, off the truck. What I'm doing now is uh, finishing up our skirting. And there you go. So that's going to keep most animals out that are uh, roughly about that wide by maybe five foot eight and a quarter. Five foot 11, you <laughs> um, But uh, you might get some small rodents under there. So we had ourselves a bit of a slow day. Uh, we did get some work done on the screens, which looks pretty good, and the skirting is done. And uh, Kate and Pat were working on the barbecue area, so this is all prepared. But the glass uh, was really, really heavy to unload, so we didn't take it out of the box. But I do have this, and this is the sample of it. And it's uh, just amazing looking stuff, so it's an inch and a half thick. Tempered glass, we've got a nice little texture on the front and on the side. And uh, what was really going to make this stuff shine is the fact that we've got these really cool LED lights that are going to go right in behind it. Yeah, imagine that everywhere. Stay tuned. OK, we got the army showing up here today. We got Jeff plugging away down below in the landscaping. We got the glass that's hopefully going to go in place today, along with some LED lighting. So we got uh, electrical being hooked up there as we speak. Heidi is also showing up. And we got a snowstorm on the way, which is like absolutely unbelievable. But we got our gas fireplace, which is hopefully going to be hooked up later on this afternoon because we're going to need it. Paul. Oh. Hello, Heidi. How are you? I'm cold. I know. It's and a little chilly. You're prepared for this today as well? I had to. As you'll notice, there's that little guy sticking out of the floor. Gas fire pit. You, you're just 
On it. On exactly. it. Yeah, so very cool fire pit going to be going in here. I know it's just the two of them here. Yeah. So what I was thinking around this area is just putting two really comfortable deep seating chairs. Just sometimes less is more. You got it. All right. So it's this area here that's kind of my big trouble spot. OK. So it is it is an obvious traffic flow through the center here. We do have a hot tub here. Right. This is not necessarily a step. It is more like a cover. I could put a love seat here so it visually blocks the area. OK. Um, so love seat with a little coffee table. That would probably work because, again, that won't impede with traffic because you, still, traffic still, you still have all this nice. traffic to come through here. This is a retractable awning. It's going to go up over the top of the hot tub. Okay. And it's in a, and I got a shade sail that's happening over the back, and it's going to be a slightly different tinge with both very neutral tone, beigey type of colors. Why don't we use the same fabric from over here for the privacy screens over here? It just ties nice. the look together. Sounds great, Heidi. Okay. Thanks. See you a bit. Tilt the floor. Yeah. It's going to be sweet. It's amazing. My gosh. Got it? Got it. Now that our awning's up, all you have to do is give it a nice, easy drag across, and you're protected from the elements. I'm elements, and I can't get in. <laughs> uh... I feel cozy and safe and, unfortunately, not warm. No. You feeling warm, Kate? I don't think Do I've ever, I look I don't think I've ever seen you wear so many layers of clothes. I think I have eight layers on. And you're still cold. Yeah. Someone thought I was a man earlier. Really? <laughs> True story. First time for everything. It was Dave. <laughs> and then Joey said, oh, it's Kate. Oh, horribly awesome. Who's the dude in the big sweater? <laughs> all right, we got our crazy final day. We got all hands on deck. It's going to be one stupendous finish. OK, you guys, come check it out. Tempered glass arrived and the barbecue area is looking sweet. Heidi stopped by to get ideas, beams are in, skirting is done, and this deck is just about ready. All right, we got our crazy final day. We got all hands on deck. It's mayhem back here. We got Jeff firing away on the landscaping down below. We got water ready to flow into the pond. It looks absolutely fantastic. We got lights going in everywhere, so we're going to have illumination. We're going to have the fire lit up. Uh, in the hot tub zone, Heidi put in her screens, which look absolutely fantastic. We've got the stone facade in on the barbecue area. And to top it all off, we have a 500-pound piece of glass that's going to be sitting right on top of this. So uh, yeah, it's going to be one stupendous finish. All right, just about done our other pond here. One additional thing that I did do is this nice little gurgling rock. And this was one of the existing rocks that was here. I ended up just coring a hole through it. And now we've hooked up a secondary pump to that and it's actually creating this really nice uh, gurgling effect. Whoa! <laughs> I have made fire! Now, Paul has mixed his material use a little bit here. We've got the composite, we've got the natural cedar with this beautiful grain. So what I've done is picked up this table, which mimics the same grain as the cedar. Now, what's wonderful about this is it's cast aluminum. It's not real wood, so it requires absolutely no maintenance. OK, we'll rest it. Yay! <laughs> Wowzers. We started with a yard that had some, some nice landscaping features, but just a really, really bad layout. Now we've got this dining area with this awesome shade sail over top. We've got just a really funky barbecue pit with these awesome, cool backlit screens. We've got a hot tub zone with a retractable awning and more privacy there. And my favorite part, Talk about a wicked outdoor kitchen, inch and a half thick, illuminated glass. I mean, how cool is that? I say it's mission accomplished. Time to go get them. OK, you guys. Come oh. check it out. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, Amazing. This is beautiful. Wow. Oh, my gosh. This is stunning. Oh, it's stunning. stunning. There's a lot to look at, so oh my explore, gosh. explore. Look at that. Hun, take a look at the barbecue. You can start to see the glow of the lights coming in through the glass. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Wow. 
Now the hot tub oh, is placed a little bit better oh, wow. than beautiful. originally. Yeah, wow. absolutely. But Heidi yeah. came up with this, and so basically wow. it's it doesn't feel like a wall. Oh my beautiful. The light still cascades, but you're totally private in the tub. Wow. And the awning. And we have a retractable awning. So oh, basically grab this so thing. Beautiful. Let's work our way around here. Oh, oh, look at that. Gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Dad. And Jeff oh, added sorry. another pond and waterfall. Yeah, my goodness. Oh my gosh, look wow. at it. And the water bubbling mm -hmm. from the Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. It's beyond stunning. With water, there should always be some fire. <laughs> For some reason, they seem to go together. You've got this wonderful now warming up zone. Oh my oh. gosh. I can't believe this that is, is our home. That is beautiful. Heidi hit it right on. Every, the colors are just absolutely perfect. They're the colors that we like, and uh, the flowers, just, just beautiful. Again, more of Heidi's handiwork down here in the dining area. Wow. You see the shade sail over top? Yes. Wow. You've yeah. got your shade. Yes. But also, yeah. you're now kind of in this particular place where you can take in the water and the fire. This oh, is it's... a dream come true. Yeah. Honestly, a dream yeah. come true. It feels like an extension of our home. It's it's our oasis. Our needs. <laughs> yes. Okay. Never mind the hunch. <laughs> I will absolutely give you one. I know about you. <laughs> there you go. That was awesome. Beautiful. Awesome, you guys. Beautiful. The crazy amount of work that goes into a project like this becomes instantly worth it when you get a reaction like that. This was a great team effort, so many cool features, but most importantly, a true restful retreat that's right outside the back door. There yeah. we go. Uh, it just, just feels wrong on so many levels. That's going feel really weird right now. I feel like I shouldn't have been doing this. <laughs> Why are you guys so fascinated with that? I, no, I don't know. <laughs>